Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with stereo tracks in your video clips. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I have this clip right here. I'm going to bring it down to my timeline. And as you can see here, there's my video clip and here is the audio waveform. All right. This is, uh, and as you can hear, there is some audio there. However, I've actually recorded two different audio tracks on there. So if you actually click on the clip and then you go to properties, then you go here to audio tab, you can choose different audio tracks. So I actually have a different audio track here in the second one. If I choose this and then I go ahead and play that, you hear that there's some game music. And the reason that's the case is whenever I recorded this in stereo, one track had my voice and then the other track had the sound coming out of my desktop, which is here, the video game sound. So at least right now in this version of Shotcut that I'm using, uh, which is version 20.07.11, it doesn't separate audio tracks automatically to a separate audio track of its own. It simply combines everything and then it chooses the very first track. So other video editors like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, they will separate stereo tracks individually into their own track. So how would you actually do that in Shotcut? So there are a number of ways you could do that. One way you could do that is you could right click on the clip and then detach audio. And then here you could actually copy this audio to another track. So if you don't have another audio track, you could right click and add an audio track. So in this case, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Then I'm going to go up here to the track I want to paste it to and then I'll just go ahead and paste it. And now I have the same exact track on this new track. I'm going to move it over here. And now that you have these two audio tracks, you could actually choose what you want to play. So in this one, I'm going to choose track number one, which is my voice. And then the second one has the desktop sound which is the video game music All right. so right now the audio is really loud on the second one so what I'm gonna do here is choose this clip then I'm gonna go to filters and go plus and under audio there should be a gain volume I'm gonna choose that and I'm gonna decrease it so let's see if that sounds better this is uh, okay that does sound better and then on my audio track I'm gonna boost this up just a little bit. A crazy cop mic. And at the same time, whenever I recorded my voice, this is from a mono microphone. So it's not coming out of both speakers at the same volume. So what I'm gonna do here is add another audio filter where I will copy this. Same sound to both channels. This is uh, called crazy cop. So my Konami. As you could probably hear, now I can hear both the voice and the audio and they are separated so I can adjust them as needed. Now currently in this version of Shotcut there isn't a way as far as I know to actually group all of these clips together or to link them so that way if you make one change in one like say you do a split at play hit it is split across all three so if I do something like this it'll only split it on the active track whereas on other video editors you know like DaVinci Premiere or Caden Live you can group clips or link them together and also if you try to merge these audio files like if I try to move this up here it's only gonna take the file at the bottom that I merge with so I no longer have uh, both of the tracks there and so hopefully that's something that Shotcut will add in the future however if it's already in this version uh, please let me know because I couldn't find it myself for fast website hosting and top-notch service and features Check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And the final thing I want to show you is uh, there is another way you could do this instead of detaching audio because I really feel that is additional steps. So let me show you the way that I like to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And we'll start fresh. Move this one as well. So let's do it again. I'm going to go ahead and go to my playlist. I'm going to move it down here. 
And then an easier way to do that, instead of detaching audio, just move your clip to an audio track. And now you have the same audio on both tracks. And then all you have to do is simply go to the clip that you want to, you know, choose a different audio track. Go back to your properties. Choose your secondary track. And there you go. So it saves you the trouble of actually having to detach the audio and copy and paste. And let me go ahead and uh, adjust this volume really quick. Just do it really quickly. And we'll see that this works. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Make it a little bit louder. Then at least for this one, I'm gonna copy the sound. So let's go ahead and play that. All right. This is uh, called Crazy Cop by Konami. So that is a very easy way in which you can work with stereo tracks. So if you recorded different audio on your tracks, this is the way that you could actually separate this out and adjust it as needed within Shotcut. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my Shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.